do you think i should let people from just five districts of a country or five districts of a state hold an entire nation at ransom because of their vested interest i don't think so i ask the audience today you tell me as a company commander who has the responsibility of nearly 120 men under me what answer do i give to the mother who asked me that why did i allow her child to be murdered by angry protesters why did i allow a father to be killed by a shower of stones or why did i allow a husband to die in vain during an anti terror operation when civilians literally shielded the terrorists gentlemen the most important thing is everybody has got human rights and that includes everybody who is in this uniform do you think that the day i wore this uniform i let go of my human rights i don't think so i ask you where were the human rights or what human rights you tell me were lieutenant umar fayaz and rifleman aurangzeb violating when they were abducted while on leave and brutally murdered and their videos posted all over the internet for the world to watch gentlemen i think we cannot talk about justice and human rights to a set of people who have been so deeply and so precariously indoctrinated due to religious extremism that logic and reason does not apply to them anymore and in the end i would like to finish my sentence by saying just one line and that is you cannot expect i repeat you cannot expect justice from a nation whose flags you burn every friday thank you jain